tomorrow, and the weather's going to be good for that. So lots to talk about, and uh, we're going to hop right into our, our, our first guest here. And, uh, and this is something that um, uh, you, um, you, you see around here every once in a while. Uh, you'll see the, uh, the no-cost uh, 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 mammograms. Um, this is something that uh, Assemblyman Miller and, and uh, State Senator Joe Dabo have brought uh, to, to, our, to our communities. Um, and, uh, and, and this one came across, uh, came across our desk, and, uh, it, and it kind of touched me. And I thought uh, it would be good to, to bring someone on to, to talk about this. And this is a, a no-cost digital mammogram. Uh, and uh, breast exam. And you, you, you know, the thing you got to know about this is that these these mammograms can can help reduce the number of deaths uh, deaths from breast cancer. Uh, and, and it is it is important that uh, that that women get these uh, get these tests taken care of. And uh, these are, are no cost uh, mammograms. It's going to be here in Woodhaven on uh, Thursday, July twenty fourth. Uh, at Jamaica Avenue and, and Woodhaven Boulevard, in front of the bank there. So uh, I want to bring on our guest here, and that's uh, Mr. Bill Campion. Bill, how are you? I'm good, Ed. How are you? Very, very good. So, so this one here is sponsored in memory of Ginny Campion. Is that is that your mom? That's my mom. Yeah, she passed away nine years ago after a long battle with breast cancer, and my family began doing a fundraiser in her memory about nine or oh, eight years ago. And uh-huh. uh, we we sponsor a scholarship at the high school that I work at. But we also have been uh, trying to give money to other places. And uh, we've given some money to North Shore Hospital, which gave my mom great care over Manhasset. Uh, we sponsor, we paid for their patient uh, televisions in the bone uh-huh. marrow transplant unit. We got them brand new flat screens. We gave them wigs uh, and scars and turbans for women who maybe couldn't afford to, to have that, that extra accoutrement go- during their treatments. And so now we've turned our attention to something a little bit different. And this year we're going to sponsor a mobile scanning unit. Uh, that's, that's terrific, and and like I said, we've we've had them we've had them in our uh, we've had them in our community over the years, and you know people have gotten the word out and told people about them. But this one really touched me in, in that it, it, it actually puts a name uh, mm-hmm. to it, which I which I think is interesting. Tell us a bit about your mom. What would, what would you like people to know about your mom? Well, you know, she was probably the most compassionate person that uh, many people have come across. And that's mm-hmm. one of the amazing things about our fundraiser. It really hasn't gone beyond friends and family. Uh, these people come back every year and spend their hard-earned money on raffles and, and on a ticket, uh, mostly in memory for my mom. And, you know, people who will come out and recognize her memory nine years after her death, it's pretty impressive, the stories they tell. It's always a nice way to remember her because people come out and just tell a million stories about how Ginny was always there for them. Uh, mm-hmm. People tell stories about how she'll... She would come home straight from a chemotherapy treatment, and she would go visit friends who needed help somewhere else. So uh, that incredible spirit is kind of what we wanted to live on and why we work so hard to, to give money to people who can use it um, and, and to give us organizations who will use it in a really helpful way. That, 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 that's real nice. And, and it's nice, you know, what you're doing here, again, you're, 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 providing, uh, you're providing a service in your mom's name and so, so that your mom is, is still, you know, being compassionate and providing that service. And, uh, and again, it's spreading, it's spreading the word. So, so, so what, do, what do people, for, for people who hear this, um, how, uh, how, can they, how can they sign up for it? What, what, do they, what do they need to know? Well, there's two ways. The easiest way, I'm sure, is just to make a phone call. The number is 877-628-9090, and they can sign up uh, to make an appointment for that day. The truck will be there from 9 to 4. Uh, the other way, if they'd like, they can go into the bank. The Queens County Savings Bank has been extremely helpful. Um, it's kind of symbolic. I grew up in Woodhaven. I lived there until I was 18, then I went off to college. My parents were there from the day they were married in 1972 up until about the year 2000. And my mom worked at what was then Columbia Bank for many mm-hmm. years. Uh, in the back in human resources, and she forged some great relationships. And uh, for, for many years, I still have an account there uh, 20 years later. And, wow. uh, and for many years, I would go to any branch uh, anywhere in, the, uh, in Queens, and somebody would remember my mom. She hired me. She was nice to me. She, she calmed me down when I was nervous about my interview. And so having the, uh, the scanning unit outside of, of what is now Queens County Bank had a nice symbolic meeting. And, and the, the new bank manager, actually, was somebody my mom hired, so she's been especially helpful. So you can go wow. into the bank. Ask for the manager, and I'm sure they can provide you with the information you need, if not a sign-up sheet. Um, and like I said, they'll be there all day, uh, all comers, and we're hoping for a really big turnout. We're going to have some ads running in the Leader, in the Queen's mm-hmm. Chronicle, in a couple of weeks leading up to it. We really want to make this donation count, so we're really hoping people come out. 
That's fantastic. I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't know that, and I'm, uh, I'm real, I'm real pleased to hear it, and so glad that you guys would come back to, uh, come back to Woodhaven for this, and uh, and provide the service. You know, it's, well, you know, Ed, it's on top great. of the fact that my mom worked there, and where we have Woodhaven roots, is another amazing thing that Woodhaven did for me later on in life. Um, I met my wife, who was a Breezy Point resident, and I moved here with her when we got married um, almost eight years ago. And after Sandy happened, and we were pushed out of our house for nine months. Uh, they had a, a Christmas celebration with donated toys and, and just a whole bunch of things from a bunch of neighborhoods around around Queens and Brooklyn. And Woodhaven was amazingly represented by people who wow, came out and gave wonderful. their time and their money and their effort. And it made me feel very special that the place that you know raised me, that reared me, was still a big part of my life in such a special way. And so the people of Woodhaven are just as much a part of this as my mom is. Uh, that, that's 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 wonderful. I, that's that's so great to hear. Um, I got me. I got me a little choked up. There. That's, that's good because I know a lot of people were involved in that, and that, that was that was really great. So again, the date is uh, the date is Thursday, July twenty fourth, from nine to four. Will you be there that day? I will be making an appearance probably in the middle of the day. I'd like to be there uh, to meet the people from the American Italian Cancer Foundation who provide the truck. Um, mm-hmm. I'd like to hopefully see how our turnout's going. I will definitely be around. Yes, uh, I, I want to make Drop sure that I'm there. And, uh, drop me a line and let me know when you when you're going to be there, and I'll uh, make sure I come down and we say hello. That would be great. Thanks for the time. I really appreciate it. All right, Bill. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And that's uh, that, that, that's a great uh, that, that's that's a great story. I love I love hearing that, and that's uh, that's something we'll, we'll love to share. You know, when I had seen that, um, you know that 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 someone was doing it, you know, in, in honor of, of, of someone putting a name to it. You know, it just. That kind of touched me. You know, you see these you see these uh, things all the time, but this one uh, th- this one just had a different uh, this one just had a different feel about it. And, and boy, you know, sometimes you get that that hunch about something. You say, hey, uh, that that might be uh, that might be something uh, you know something good. And and that was just that was just phenomenal. That was really nice. So anyway, 